today we are going to calculate unknown angles uh, this is the point we have to keep in mind when we are going to calculate unknown angles uh, interior angle of a triangle at 280 this is the point you must keep it in your mind interior angles in this triangle c angle x angle y angle z these three interior angles add to 180 that is the point you have to keep it in mind x plus y plus z equals to 180 then we can cal calculate unknown angles now look at this triangle angle m is there that is the unknown angle and uh, we know uh, this angle is 57 degrees this angle is 64 degrees then we have to find uh, calculate the value of angle m then how are we going to do this uh, we already know this is the point then m angle m plus 57 degrees plus 64 degrees equals to 180 degrees now we are going to find uh, this unknown angle angle m then we keep m here we have to add these two together 57 degrees plus 64 degrees that comes 7 and 4 11 1 uh, 6 6 12 it comes 121 degrees these two together we have to deduct 121 from 180 then it gives the value of angle m then we have to subtract take away 7 5 then this angle gives the value of 59 degrees this is the way we are going to calculate an unknown angle we have to keep it in mind this is the point interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 now we are going to find uh, this angle uh, there are two angles we have to find two angles but there is a data here uh, this uh, you already know now this is isolate triangle then two sides are equal then these two angles these base angles are equal we already know this angles value is 40 degrees 40 degrees plus 2t two corners equals to 180 degrees then we have to find two these two corners we have to subtract 40 from 180 that gives 140 degrees then one corner value of one corner is 70 degrees that means this t value of t is 70 degrees here also same because base corner cycle is a isolate triangle now next we are going to find out this triangle here given uh, one angle is 60 degrees one angle is 70 degrees we have to find angle h that is very easy h plus 70 degrees plus 60 degrees equals to 180 degrees then we are going to find h plus 60 plus 70 that is 130 degrees we have to deduct 130 degrees from 180 degrees then the value is 60 degrees h value is 60 degrees that's very easy we have to keep it in mind this is the main point here in this triangle this is a reflex angle reflex angle that is 267 degrees there then we can find this angle we have to deduct 300 and 267 from 360 degrees then 
We are borrowing 1 here. Right. 93 degrees. Value of this is 93 degrees. But we have to find this. This is the unknown number. Angle. Angle A. How are we going to find angle A? We already know. Uh, this is 93 degrees. This is angle A. Angle A plus 93 degrees plus this is 43 degrees equals to 180 degrees. Then we are going to add this to do together. 93 plus 43. 336. 136 degrees comes the value of those two. Then we have to deduct 136 from 136. 80 degrees then 44 degrees gives the value of angle A that is angle A it gives the value of 44 degrees very easy in this triangle this is a right angle triangle we already know this is 90 degrees then 90 degrees plus 29 degrees plus G angle equals to 180 degrees. Then we have to add these two together. 90 plus 29. That is 119 degrees plus angle G equal 180 degrees. Then angle G equals to we have to subtract 119 from 180. Then 1 is here 61 degrees angle G gives 61 degrees of a value that is very easy to find the value of unknown angles main point is we have to keep it in mind the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180.